The 2020 regular season is behind us, and what a strange up and down year it was for everyone. As usual, several NFL teams met or surpassed expectations. Others failed to reach theirs. But all 32 teams, good and bad, enjoyed some highlight reel plays throughout the campaign. Here's a look at every NFL team's best play from the 2020 regular season. Arizona Cardinals, DeAndre Hopkins, Hail Mary. What else was it gonna be? The Arizona Cardinals needed a miracle to get past the Buffalo Bills in their Week 10 showdown. With 11 seconds to go and the ball at the Buffalo 43, Kyler Murray scrambled to the left, narrowly avoided a sack, and heaved a Hail Mary to the end zone. And DeAndre Hopkins completed the miracle with three defenders on him. Still can't believe the Houston Texans traded that guy. Atlanta Falcons, Hayden Hurst diving grab. It didn't take long for tight end Hayden Hurst to make a good first impression in his Falcons debut. Acquired from the Baltimore Ravens in an offseason trade, Hurst and Matt Ryan formed tremendous chemistry right off the bat, as evidenced by this slick diving catch in the team's week one opener against the Seattle Seahawks. Baltimore Ravens, Mark Andrews' one-handed touchdown catch. The Ravens started off the 2020 season with a bang, a 38-6 shellacking of the Cleveland Browns in week one. The Ravens racked up the touchdowns on their AFC North Division rivals, and that included this jaw-dropping one-handed touchdown reception from tight end Mark Andrews. Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen's game winner to Tyler Crofts. The Buffalo Bills saw a 28-3 lead, hey, that sounds familiar, evaporate in week three against the Los Angeles Rams. They had one last chance to avoid a humiliating meltdown, and Josh Allen quickly went to work. Allen drove the Bills deep into Rams territory and finished the comeback with a clutch game-winning touchdown pass to Tyler Croft in the final seconds. Carolina Panthers, Teddy Bridgewater dances past Cardinals for six. All things considered, Teddy Bridgewater performed pretty well in his first full year as a starter since 2015. Bridgewater did plenty of great things in Matt Rule's explosive offense, including this highlight reel touchdown run against the Arizona Cardinals in week four. Chicago Bears, Nick Foles winner to Anthony Miller. The Bears started hot out of the gate, winning their first two games. However, a struggling Mitch Trubisky was replaced by Nick Foles during the team's Week 3 road game against the Atlanta Falcons. Foles helped the Bears erase a 16-point fourth-quarter deficit, topping it off with his perfect game-winning touchdown pass to Anthony Miller. Cincinnati Bengals, Joe Burrow's quarterback draw plus TD run. No NFLer will ever forget their first career touchdown. That goes double for Bengals rookie quarterback Joe Burrow, who needed just 12 and a half minutes to record his first career score in week one against the Los Angeles Chargers. The future has never looked brighter for the Bengals. Cleveland Browns, Baker Mayfield's winner to Donovan Peoples-Jones. Few NFLers were under as much pressure to perform as Brown's third-year quarterback, Baker Mayfield. He enjoyed a career year for the Browns, making big-time throws and clutch plays that you simply didn't see in 2019, including this game-winning pass to Donovan Peoples-Jones in Week 7 against their in-state rivals. Dallas Cowboys, Amari Cooper's one-handed grab. Cowboys Pro Bowl wideout Amari Cooper performed nicely after signing a $100 million extension in the offseason. So far, it looks like money well spent by Jerry Jones. Cooper continued to shine as the Cowboys' go-to receiver in 2020. That's not surprising when you're making highlight reel grabs like this one against the Atlanta Falcons in Week 2. Denver Broncos, Jerry Judy's first career touchdown. 2020 first round pick Jerry Judy drove the Broncos, their fans, and fantasy owners crazy with his many drops. But he often made up for it with incredible catches like this one against the New York Jets in week four. That's about as impressive a first career touchdown as you'll ever see. Detroit Lions, TJ Hawkinson's walk-off TD. Thanks to Todd Gurley's accidental touchdown mishap, Matthew Stafford and the Lions were given some time to drive down the field and finish the Falcons in week seven. Stafford, one of the game's ultimate comeback kings, uh, against a team renowned for always blowing late fourth quarter leads, you just knew how this one would end. Green Bay Packers, Aaron Rodgers to Devontae Adams in double coverage. A-Rod and Adams were virtually unstoppable in the 2020 season. I mean, they just make the impossible plays look so easy. Kind of like this slick throw and catch in double coverage against the Philadelphia Eagles. Houston Texans, J.J. Watt's Thanksgiving pick six. The Texans' 2020 season was easily the most disastrous in franchise history. The team's highlight was probably the Week 12 blowout win against the Lions on Thanksgiving which included this impressive pick six from the three-time defensive player of the year. Indianapolis Colts, Naheem Hines, spin for six. 
Naheem Hines and Jonathan Taylor formed one of the NFL's most explosive running back duos in 2020, helping the Colts bounce back after a down 2019 season. They sure made Phillip Rivers' transition to Indianapolis that much easier. So many great plays from the rebuilt Colts offense in 2020, but it's hard to think of something better than Hines spin Orama into the end zone against the Lions. And how about the celebration afterwards? Can we get this guy to the Tokyo Olympics this summer? Jacksonville Jaguars, DJ Chark, touchdown. In a way, 2020 was a huge success for the Jaguars. Sure, they were the NFL's worst team, but when you successfully take for Trevor Lawrence, you did your job. Young fan on wideout DJ Chark was one of the Jaguars' few bright spots during the year. He made some big-time plays in a lackluster passing game, like this beautiful TD grab against the Bears in Week 16. Kansas City Chiefs, Tyreek Hill's backflip into the end zone. Patrick Mahomes and Tyreek Hill completely dominated the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the first quarter of their Week 12 showdown. Mahomes found Hill for a 75-yard TD midway through the first quarter. On the ensuing Kansas City drive, Mahomes found Hill for another long touchdown. But this one was even better than the first, as the Chiefs held on for a tight 27-24 victory. Las Vegas Raiders, Henry Ruggs game winner versus Jets. If you're the New York Jets, this is one of the dumbest play calls of all time. But from the Raiders' perspective, it was a clutch play from Derek Carr and Henry Ruggs. Thanks to Greg Williams' decision to run a cover zero blitz and Derek Carr's gutsy throw under pressure, the Raiders were able to pull off the improbable win. Los Angeles Chargers, Justin Herbert to Mike Williams. The Chargers lost a close one against the New Orleans Saints on Monday Night Football in Week 5. But on a bright note, rookie Justin Herbert showed the world on national television that he is legit. This kid made plenty of big-time throws and nearly led his team to a stunning upset. No throw is finer, however, than this incredible toss to Mike Williams in double coverage. Too bad Michael Badgley missed the game-winning field goal, but uh, hey, that's the Chargers for you. Los Angeles Rams. Pass interference can't stop Josh Reynolds. It's practically impossible to make a catch when the opposing defender interferes with you. But uh, hey, don't tell that to Los Angeles Rams wideout Josh Reynolds, who somehow came down with his highlight reel TD while drawing the flag for defensive PI. Miami Dolphins, Ryan Fitzpatrick's no-look pass. The Dolphins' playoff hopes were on the ropes in Week 16. They trailed the Raiders by one point, backed up at their own 25-yard line. No timeouts, only 19 seconds. They needed a miracle. Good thing Ryan Fitzpatrick had a little more Fitz magic in him. The no-look pass while being face masked set up Jason Sanders' game-winning field goal. Minnesota Vikings, Dalvin Cook shakes dances past Packers. Dalvin Cook had a career game for the Vikings against the Green Bay Packers in Week 8. He finished with 163 rushing yards, 3 rushing touchdowns, and 2 receptions for 63 yards and a receiving TD. That was enough to help the Vikings stun Aaron Rodgers and the Packers 28-22 at Lambeau Field. But without a doubt, Cook's best play was this flashy screen pass as he danced past the defense for 6. New England Patriots Julian Edelman's diving catch The Patriots' top wideout unfortunately missed most of the 2020 season due to injuries. And the offense took a serious hit without him. It's a shame, because when he was on the field, Edelman showed that he still had it at age 34. You know, like this jaw-dropping diving catch against the Seattle Seahawks in Week 2. New Orleans Saints, Alvin Kamara's unstoppable touchdown. The Saints rewarded Kamara with a five-year, $75 million extension before their Week 1 opener. Money well spent as Kamara pieced together his best season yet, propelling New Orleans to a fourth straight NFC South Division title. Kamara had so many highlight reel moments in 2020, but none stand out more than this wild touchdown against the Green Bay Packers in Week 3. New York Giants, Daniel Jones' perfect pass to Golden Tate for six. Daniel Jones largely struggled in his sophomore season with the Giants, but there were some positives and big-time throws, including this gem of a touchdown pass to Golden Tate against the Bucks on Monday Night Football in Week 8. New York Jets, Marcus May's buttception. The 2020 season was a dismal failure for the Jets, to say the least. They botched their chance at Trevor Lawrence, so it was hard for fans to even celebrate when the team avoided the 0-16 club. On the bright side, safety Marcus May pulled off one of the craftiest interceptions in recent memory by using his derriere. Philadelphia Eagles, Boston Scott's winner versus Giants. 
The reeling one-win Eagles needed a victory against the arch-rival Giants on Thursday Night Football in Week 8. Otherwise, their rapidly decreasing NFC East hopes would have been done altogether. Luckily, Boston Scott answered the call from Carson Wentz when Philadelphia needed it most. Pittsburgh Steelers – Game Sealing Stuff on Lamar Jackson This wasn't a highlight reel play by any means, but looking back on it, it was a pivotal play that helped the Steelers win the AFC North. If they didn't make that play, the Ravens probably win the game and possibly the division. Heck, maybe the Steelers miss out on the postseason entirely. San Francisco 49ers – Brandon Ayuk's hurdle into the end zone it didn't take 49ers fans long to fall in love with rookie wideout Brandon Ayuk. The explosive product out of Arizona State became a fun piece in Kyle Shanahan's offense, with some eye-popping plays like this. Seattle Seahawks – DK Metcalf chases down Buda Baker Seahawks receiver DK Metcalf is so insanely good that his best play of 2020 wasn't even a catch. Rather, it was a touchdown-saving defensive play in Week 7 against the Arizona Cardinals. You know which play we're talking about. Youth football coaches will be showing this to their players for years to come. Tampa Bay Buccaneers – Ronald Jones' 98-yard touchdown As great as Tom Brady was in his first season with the Bucs, he wasn't responsible for the team's best play from 2020. That honor goes to running back Ronald Jones, who set the franchise record for the longest touchdown run at 98 yards in Week 10 against Carolina. Tennessee Titans – Derrick Henry's 94-yard marathon touchdown the 2019 rushing champion was even more dominant in 2020. Henry put together an MVP-like season in Tennessee, which included several highlight reel runs, but none were more impressive than this long trot to the end zone during the team's Week 6 win over the Texans. Washington football team – Terry McLaurin breaks away for the touchdown after a superb rookie year, Washington's star receiver took his game to another level in 2020. With plays like this incredible touchdown against the Giants, McLaurin has all the makings to be a top 5 wideout in the league for years to come. But what do you think was your team's best play from the 2020 NFL season? Join us in the comments section below! If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, click the like button helps out a ton! And hey, we appreciate it! If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time!